The FBI is now investigating another North Carolina substation attack. The gunfire damaged a substation Tuesday in the city of Thomasville, which is southwest of Greensboro. The attack did not cause any power outages for customers. Just last month, gunfire, gunfire struck two power stations in the state on the same night. That happened in Moore County, which is about an hour away from Thomasville. Tens of thousands of people lost power for several days. For more on this, I am joined by Ren Cannon. He's a public safety consultant and former FBI agent in charge of the Portland Division. He oversaw a substation shooting investigation in 2019. Ren, why power stations? Why are they a target? You know, I, I think it's important to, to realize that power stations are part of the infrastructure that serve the entire community. So you make a big statement when you put an assault on a, on a power statement, a station, and it, and it, it brings attention. The problem, or the, the problem with that is it also um, creates issues for the entire community. It's really an assault on everybody, the elderly in their homes, the students in their schools. It's really an assault on the well-being of the entire community. What do you make? If you were investigating this, there have been three of these attacks on power plants in North Carolina. What would you go looking for? What pieces of the puzzle emerge for you? Well, clearly, whenever there's a, a string of, of attacks, it's it's more concerning. So the the first step uh, to realize is that public safety is a is a matter of partnerships, and that's encoded in the National Infrastructure Protection Plan. Partnerships are are what allow different law enforcement uh, agencies at the state, federal, and local level to work together. But the thing I really want to emphasize is it's not just law enforcement that creates security; it's also partnerships with the business community and partnerships with the community at large. So one of the first things you're gonna do is ask for help. You know, if people see something or they know something, law enforcement needs you to give them a call and let them know, um, you know, what your concern might be. You know, citizens stepping up really is one of the first layers of, of security and well-being for all of us. There are over 7,300 power plants and nearly 160,000 miles of high voltage power lines in the U.S. Is is this just a huge target rich uh, part of the system here with that much hardware that can be attacked if this is uh, we've now seen three instances of it? Yeah, John, you're really hitting on a key point. I mean, the point is, is that there's lots of nodes of infrastructure. So there's 16 different critical areas. The power system is one of them. And there's a lot in the power system that can be attacked. So we, we first, you know, DHS sort of leads this process of risk management. So we, we we analyze the risk, we do risk analysis, we try to put resources where they need to go. When we start to see indications that there's a particular risk to a particular piece of infrastructure, then the FBI could get involved with threat assessments and further investigations. So that layer of intelligence and investigation really helps us to put resources where they need to go, even when it's in a place that might be remote or hard to get to. We can't cover everything all the time, but we can certainly cover the key nodes at the key times. Thank you so much for being with us.